Yeah, what up, what up? We out here with not Benjamin. We on my DMs podcast. Come, come through. Come hear the conversation. We talking shit, vibing, talking about life and street fest and music and things that I don't want to say. Comment and subscribe on the biggest show on the internet. My DM podcast live from Joe. Okay. What's happening, my DM podcast? My DM podcast. What's up, Maverick? Good, good, sir. What's going on? You're going on, man. You know what it is. It's just, you know, another day. Killing uh, the internet. <laughs> <laughs> like we usually do. Uh, did you check out the, um, the Casper fight? Casper pretty ugly. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What do you yes, think? Sir. Confirmation. Are you asking me who am I putting my money yeah, on? Yeah, who you owns your money on? Pretty, man. Pretty, man? Yeah, pretty. I don't know. Like... <laughs> I also, I also, I also think pretty might take it. Yeah, I think that guy's like. But like I mean, does he used da- to dance, play football? Like yeah. Think he can but do you not feel like, you know, rate that because of the experience that Casper has? Because this is his second fight. Unlike, you know, pretty, he hasn't have a, he, has, he hasn't had a, a celebrity fight. Bro, I'm judging based off like natural agility. I've seen pretty ugly dance. He used to come, yeah. used to do all these things. He's quite an active guy. Yeah. So. I, yeah. <laughs> what do you think, Nod? Uh, uh, yo, what up? Uh, <laughs> hi, I'm good. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I think probably pretty, bro. You know, pretty, that's, that's my dog. That's, that's your that's dog. That's my dog. Bro. Yeah, sure. I don't know if you but, saw how we killed it this past weekend, dog. Yeah. Like how we, dog. That's my dog. He's yeah. Gonna take it. Yes, yeah. And that bro, you can see he's ripped. And he's shit. ripped and shit. Know, like he's, like he's had a rip. He's, he's been gym. He came out with too much confidence, dog. Yeah. He's high. He has to take it. Right. But like, you know what I'm talking about. So, I've been to events, right? You could be agile and be like fit, but on the day with cameras and people, that thing hits you, dog. Do you know mm. what I mean? Mm. So, it, 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 there's a lot to uh, like a fight like at that magnitude because you could be fit, but like because of the cameras, the people, the crowd, you know, the mm. aura of that day, that can also just knock you mentally out. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, bro. I mm. think even in fights in general, I don't know. I don't I don't know much about fighting. I don't know how much actually goes into it. But at yeah. the end of the day, no matter yeah. how fit you are, how strong you are, yeah. whatever, you get punched in the face, you'll you'll get knocked out. Yeah. You know what I mean? You can't really gotcha. you can't, like it's yeah. about who gets that punch more gotcha. so than how much you gymed, how shredded they are, yeah. whatever. How much training, whatever. It's someone with so much training can get like knocked in the face by someone that's never trained in yeah. their life. Yeah. And just get knocked out well i don't know actually maybe not i don't know but i would just think that it's all about who lands that punch yeah you know more so than talking about events i mean you you got street first you know Uh, and and that's been bro you've been you've been you've been you've been fucking things up (laughs) yeah (laughs) you know what what what, like what what challenges dog had go into like putting this event together yo a lot of challenges bro yeah there's there's tons of challenges like at the moment as it stands like We've done six events now. Mm-hmm. It's the sixth one every month. We're doing it, so it's once a month. Once a month. So that means it's been six months. Got you. Still no sponsors. Yes, see, bro. But how, dog? I mean, such a successful event now. Yeah, I mean, like, besides for Red Bull, they okay. come through with the cocktail tables. The cocktail tables. tables they give you the nice shit. little, yeah. But we're working on our deal with them, and it will okay. turn into an into actual... Uh, well, I need coins, you know, at yeah, this point. You yeah, know, it's been going yeah, and going and going. I can also see it. Sure. Yeah, dog. So, uh, like, and it's no it's no heat on the sponsors or anything Got like you. that. It's mostly the fact that, you know, I've been pulling this thing together. You asked what the struggles are. I've been pulling it together out of mm. my pocket. Every month, I go broke. Mm. Then I make the money back. Yeah. Then I go broke. Yeah. Then I, spend, then I make the money back. Then I spend on the headliner. Then Got you. Back. You know what I mean? Yeah. But luckily... How it came together is that through my like connections, I've been working on music for ages. Got you. And for years and years, been cooking up with all these artists, oh, and now they're in a dope position. And I've been producing a lot of music for free. Mm. So, now, so you can put in those events, favors. You can put in those favors. Come perform because yeah, yeah, yeah. they can't come perform songs that I produced for free. You, and now I'm paying them. Yeah. You know what I mean? But yeah. it's beyond that. It's not even a deep thing like that. It's love, you know, yeah. all around. So. It's an unspoken thing that we like doing these things for yeah. each other. Like when I was cooking up for them for free, I was probably. I mean, I drop some like, names. Drop some names. Who, who you no, been cooking like, every, like I cook up everyone's shit. You know, like yeah. who, who? Let me drop names of people that I haven't cooked. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, nah, for real though, like yeah. you know, like Champagne Six Nine, like you. Money Badu, Lucas yeah, Raps, Lucas uh, Raps, uh, Black Even, Shout Wang. Out Shout out to Lucas Raps. He's coming on yeah. Wednesday. Yeah. 
and yeah. lots of artists. Bello Salo. Bello um, Salo. Yeah. Catch Shout CPT. Out Shout out to Bello. Yeah. Actually, pretty much everyone I booked besides some of the headliners. You know Got what I mean? You. So with headliners, there's some that I haven't like worked with like that. So Got there you. I pay. Yeah. But with other artists, bro, it's like, uh, uh, hopefully, you know, the favors are running out from my side. <laughs> now it's six months in. I can't keep calling favors. So I'm going to start paying everyone yeah. soon, you know, like yeah. properly. But yeah. so far, it's been smooth because, like, they understand that it's coming out my pocket. Gotcha. I don't have money for everybody right gotcha. now. Once I have sponsors, then I can pay for everyone. Yeah. You know, that's how it's meant to work. It's not meant to be me paying for because I'm only earning off, like, the door. Then the yeah. venue takes off the bar and yeah. shit like that. So those are the other struggles that come in, working out those splits making a profit is almost impossible yeah you know what i yeah. mean so what i often do is i take money that i do from other things and then i put it into street fest and lose it <laughs> <laughs> give me two songs you wish were yours in south africa two songs that i wish were mine yeah i don't know um come on now there's always those two songs you're like yeah bro if i had that yo yeah. hey, hey. what's that hey, hey, hey. you don't know it. Nah, the chant the piano uh, hey. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I produced that. Yeah. Shout out Big Les for real. He produced the chant, which is an unreleased song right now by Rick. Okay. Rick. Okay. That like it's an anthem. Is that, it's not, it's not unre- I'm not, not released yet. It's not unreleased. Okay. okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huge yeah. anthem. And the second one. I just told her the money the third time, then I estimated it. No, no, I need, I need, no, I need. Yo, if I produce that, yeah, you know, that would be dope. Yeah, that'd but be I mean, dope. Yeah, oh, there's lots actually. Yeah. Now that I, now that we get the ball rolling, I can yeah. name a couple songs. But yeah. yeah, dog, I mean, you know, those ones. But I'm a producer, and also I produced a lot of dope songs. So I'm not really worried about like I, gotcha. I don't really watch what other people are doing that deep. That I'm like, I wish I did that. Yeah. I wish I did this. Because what I'm doing, I know nobody else is doing. Yes, yeah. you, know, you know, I'm yeah. the only person doing what I do. In terms of like just you know people showing you love uh, w- w- when it comes to the music, um, is it more females or guys? It varies, but mostly guys currently. Okay. You know because guys it's are with nigga the, thing. They're with the <laughs> shit. Men <laughs> really with the shit. I they're really they're, they're the tapped in with yeah. the hip hop thing. You yeah. know, like you ask girls like about. Well, I mean no, but w- actually, sorry, let me not actually go that route because the facts are. The fans the, are gonna chow you. People, <laughs> no, I'm not that. no, no, I'm saying the facts. The facts yeah. of the matter are yeah. short shorties when they. Like the shorties that understand, if they support you, they're gonna buy the merch, gotcha. come to the event, Vince, pay for yeah. the ticket, not yeah. ask you for free tickets, Ooh. and be like, I know you, bro. They'll come pay for the ticket, they'll come like support, and they'll be in the front. Yeah! yeah. You know? So there's that element of realness from gotcha. the girls' sides. Whereas guys, it's all, yo, Benji, can I play you my song? Can I perform as you? Can I whatever? Can I what? Uh, shit, I bet, sure, dog, do it. But like with girls, it's like they're actually there to support the music. So yeah. there's that side of it where I don't think guys go as deep into, you know, supporting gotcha. as women do when they like actually support someone. Yeah. You know, you so know, my women supporters go harder than my guys supporters. Is what I'm saying, but I got more guys supporters. But we try to get the ladies, ladies, hey, hey. Yeah, and yeah, because yeah. <laughs> they support harder. I feel like this chat of whole like sponsors not being tapped in as they should mm. it really frustrates you and I see a lot of that stuff coming out from you on Twitter because I know like you're a very positive person like yeah. you're a really positive person you're just about words and everyone working towards yeah. each other but on Twitter sometimes I'm like God, I feel like I, I can just text this nigga to just like slow down Shut with the down. tweets. What's what's going nah, on? Because you're always going positive. The- my tweets are all everything that I've ever tweeted is mostly positive shit. Even if I'm saying something to do with negative things like a hater coming at me Mm. i'm gonna respond positively if the brands aren't giving me racks i'm gonna call them out positively you know what i mean and also it's not even it's not even on them when i when i post that shit that's more so to like champion myself because Mm -hmm. it's it's hard pulling this shit off with no sponsors Mm -hmm. so if i'm sending a proposal to every sponsor every Mm -hmm. month for four months on the fourth month i'm gonna say well damn i've been sending it I've been putting your logo on it, this whatever water, and putting this tag and putting it on the thing and saying, here's how we can do it with this water brand specifically, how we can make it work, mm. and here's how much we need. Here's what we. Nothing. Oh. All right. Nothing. The other brand, nothing. The other one, the big one, the other one, the small one, the whatever, nothing. Nothing. Okay, then when they come back later, they'll say, yo, because now it's going well. They'll say, yo, we've spent our budget for the year so you can fit into our budget plan for the new year. So then that's the plan, you know what I mean? Then, like, now I have to keep going until the new year mm-hmm. <laughs> out of my pocket. That's what yeah. it's telling me. Yeah. So it's like, it gets frustrating, obviously, because I want to do more. I want the event to get better. I want it to look dope. I want to go harder with promo. I want to get bigger artists. 
but I can't do it as it keep coming out keeps coming out my pocket. Gotcha. I can't go bigger. I can't get like a dope VIP section or not even VIP, just the backstage section just so oh. the artists can chill nicely. Can chill nicely. Mm. You know, I can't even get that. I can't get the merch made because it's gonna cost me to make the merch. Oh. So I can only make the merch that I give to Pretty with these picture on it. Got gotcha. you. Given that, but I can't sell twenty of them because mm-hmm. I don't have enough money to make twenty. Sure. Yeah. So I have enough money to make like three or four or five. So it gets to a point like yeah, obviously it's frustrating. But even when I put it online, it's nothing. Like it's if it chases delicious. anyone away, then it's fine. They, they must well, run away then. But either like way, Benji, yeah. You you feel like the sponsors are turning their back from hip hop mostly because you're pushing a sound. You get. I don't know, bro. I like I couldn't possibly know the reason. The thing is, at first I was like, okay, okay. I've, I've done two or three. Maybe they're just not sure yet. They need to see more. You know. It's like and they don't I continue, believe in, in 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 what you're doing with the sound or. It's, is it a hip hop thing sound. or is it just sponsors nah. are not putting money into events? I don't think it's sound. I, I've been I think on, it's connection. I've been on events and it's strictly hip hop. Nah, yeah. it's not. I've had I've had house, I've had piano, I've had like I've had a bunch of other genres, not okay. just hip hop, but it's mostly hip hop. It's mostly hip hop. It's mostly hip hop. The headliners, the performers, yeah, hip hop, yeah. but DJs are mix up the sounds. Yeah, yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Okay. Like I've had stopper come DJ. I've had like. DJs like 10 oceans and gotcha. you know what I mean so how's and um I was asking him because obviously like I was saying producer produce for famous Mythical, people yeah. people yeah. know the name but they don't put the face into the name the you know what I mean but now um, you're walking around campus and around Bramford how's people the love can see, yeah, it's like different. How's have the you different elevated now? in terms of like the type of girls that you were having around then or like is there more attraction from girls is there more attraction from niggas it's nothing like that <laughs> 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 nah, 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 it's nothing like that on yeah. my side it's literally like it's everyone that i'm meeting along this journey are like new faces you gotcha. know what i mean so it's like i receive and show the same love that i show to the yeah. next person you know what i mean yeah. i believe there's that standard level of showing love to everyone yeah, but with yeah. the shorties i don't get mixed up in it bro like i don't i don't look at it like that for one so and also i just don't want issues in life yeah. i want to sleep at night at with night, my though. head on yeah. the pillow comfortably I and i don't want issues in life so i don't yeah. look at shorties like as any type of way and i also don't engage in them when i feel like a shorty is like flirting with me mm. show love bye you know <laughs> and yeah. like and because most of the time we'll be like she's an artist or she's whatever this in the industry that like I don't want to ruin this relationship, relationship yeah. you know. Yeah. And now you know, how, music how can't happen. I, n- I never bang. I never bang. I never bang girls. Piece of you. One more time. How do you deal with them, honey? When trying to have a piece of you, I just you know, I just what up? Gotcha. Yeah, uh, mm, and then diff. You yeah. know, I don't like. I don't. I mean, I'm nice to everyone. That's the thing. I I'll flirt even. You know what I mean? I'll be nice. Ah, thank you. You know. Got you. I don't let it get too far too past the line. What friend like, zone? What friend yeah, zone? <laughs> Fucked up. Yeah, no, everyone I'm meeting now at school, like, yeah. and but the thing is, I, I'm, I don't know. Generally, the type of person I am, I have like connections with people. I can feel like even when I met this bro, I was like, ah, this guy is cool, you know. Yeah. Like, ah, I can feel like I'm gonna yeah. be seeing you around, and I've been yeah. seeing him around got since you, then, you know. What I mean, you. and same with you, same when yeah. I landed here, yeah, you know. Shout out, shout come out, on. Yeah, I'm a, so we're cool yeah, you know dudes, dog. We, we so, easy. And I tend to have that a lot, like with people yeah. that I meet around. So I have that with a lot of girls as well. With got women, and I'm like, okay, she's dope, or she's this, she's that. And the more dope, I think the more I'm attracted to her, the less I try to, you know, engage in that because you know but let's keep bro, let's, let's, like, i want to keep her around for life let's see where she goes in life you know what you. i mean rather than i you know try to get inside and got you. fuck up the friendship got you. but let's keep it 1000 which which was the last girl you banged and regretted it like nah i should not have done that what <laughs> 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 let's, let's Dog. Crazy like this have you smashed the girl and regretted say fuck no this wasn't me like maybe in the past you know like, yeah who's the last one like and usually it'll be like for whatever stupid reasons that i'd be insecure about you know like hey sh- i shouldn't have because now she's gonna tell like a friend or maybe like she's gonna say some shit about the sex mm. be like oh he didn't go long enough or, <laughs> <something> <laughs> like, or whatever you know like that's the type of shit that niggas are really stressing about when they have these conversations like it's not even about like you know so i don't I don't know, like, I, I don't usually Maybe regret like my decisions ben, like in, that. In, in your experience, what did you regret after smashing? Yeah. 
Um, this thing you're trying to dumb my question. I'm to, I'm <laughs> I like the way they were like, yo, we yeah, here, nigga. Yeah, we hear you, nigga. We hear you, we hear you, we hear you. But yo, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, bro, I, I, I'm trying to think of a, a girl that was, like I regretted smashing. Even. I think the only time I can think of that is like, I don't know, when, I don't know, long ago, like, hooked up with a girl after the club you know what i mean and then there's not like everything was fine and everything was all good but then i just thought to myself the next day like damn i really didn't even know that girl like that mm. so it just had me feeling like why did i do that you know like i don't know like i believe i personally i don't know i'm on some like if if i'm gonna have sex i need to like know you because the problem is once you get on that level with someone then they feel like they know you yeah so if they don't know you then they feel like they know whatever they felt like they knew so gotcha. i feel like you want to be i want to be on level where i know the shorty because if i know her well enough to know if she's gonna treat my name with respect after this shit uh-huh. or if she's gonna disrespect it uh-huh. cause that's what I'm really all about is the respect and disrespect shit you know more so than smashing or whatever I'm not interested you already in that know. shit I've been hot you know now you I'll know now hot, slide in slide yeah, in slide slide, in. but you won't you won't <laughs> God, like, come no, on Benjamin I'm this is hip hop dog let's get bitches my nigga this is hip hop dog I've been getting bitch, but it's not about that it's not about that I've been getting you know what's my problem with hip hop everybody's soft like yo, okay, not, not soft in a nah, bad way. Let me tell you something. Like let's get these bras, guys. This is hip hop. The problem is like, that, like we're in a different world now, bro. You I, say one wrong thing, you're trying to catch a trend here. Right? <laughs> <laughs> trend in Benjamin's cancelled. <laughs> yeah, that's what you want, but I'm not on that. Let me tell you what I want. I just want, I just want everyone to feel like happy around me and safe no i don't want anyone like fuck ben fuck me over any mm-hmm. musicians to feel like i played them with their beats or whatever i don't want any shorties to feel like i was breaking their hearts i don't want niggas to feel like i'm trying to steal their hand i don't want that energy you gotcha. know because hip-hop is one thing rappers or whatever you know, i'm hard i'm hard but producers weren't ever on that shit producers were always behind the behind scenes. the scenes producers were always quiet yeah in fact i'm changing what it shout means to, to be a producer mm-hmm. gotcha. cool yeah. well. shout out producers but you need to <laughs> nah bro P- producers you guys need to like we need to do what i'm doing you know you need to mm-hmm. do more of this yeah. because you have the power in your hands gotcha. you make your Talk, beats about producer, man, that's like this is now we're getting into what i want to talk about the music yeah. because when you talk about shorties and stuff like yo nah you know not on the edge that's true first yeah um i see you transitioning as now the artist in front mm. do you know what i mean is that is that what we're doing now so and how 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 what's the transition like because it's it's a whole yeah you know producers are just on the computer just click clicking yeah now you're in front of the camera like yeah. my dm podcast now yeah how's that transition I suppose it's it's not really I didn't deep it that much, you know. I'm not deeping it. I'm just kinda doing what I do right. and seeing what comes out of it. But I try my best to stay in the back room. But you can't, and dog. Fuck, you I can't be, you I can't. was there at the computer cooking up. <laughs> but then I learned everything inside the computer, you gotcha. know what I mean? Gotcha. Then I was like, Okay, I know all the production stuff, I wanna mm. learn music. People are still saying, Oh, you're making loops or whatever. Like now it's like, Okay, let me learn music. So I'm at, uh, sc- at school learning school, that yeah. shit. Now I'm like, all right, I learned everything on the computer, I'm trying to learn the things on school. But actually, dog, there's like no events happening that I want to mm. go to, you know? And there's nothing, there's artists that I'm producing for and all this shit, but like, where's my music? Where's you know your music? I mean? So, and my music, no one's ready for my music. My music won't come anytime soon. What happens now is that you get not Benjamin's music and you'll have not Benjamin's music until Benjamin's ready to give you his music. You know what I mean? Right. But not Benjamin's music and not Benjamin's events are for everyone else. So you see my album has 30 plus features, 24 songs everyone else I produced all the records on there and that's not Benjamin and Friends is what it's called gotcha. I'm the company my events company is not Benjamin and Friends gotcha. mm-hmm. which hosts Street Fest which hosts Treetops which hosts Underground and more events coming on the gotcha. way so not Benjamin and Friends is the name of the nigga, album it's the name of the nigga. yeah I, had a fuck. I like the business yeah, you got yeah, your business you know online you, know mm-hmm. you got the, the business name. online so the same name that's the album is the same name that's the events and they do, they both have things underneath them. Yeah. all the artists I like the consistency the, the consistency yeah. like you theme everything yeah in a lack of way together yeah. and also in general like with the events it's consistent like the only reason Street Fest is going really well now is because I'm doing it all the time right you know anything in life if you do it every day it has to go well right so if you do something every month it will at some point go up okay. men like Benji eh? mm. uh, uh, for, for the kid that watch out there that is trying cheese or he wants to be on not fair uh, 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 street fest street fest yeah. how do they have how do, what, what should they do 
Let me tell you something. I, I've got the academy. Let me tell you about the academy. Yeah. Damn, this nigga not even a, an academy. I've just already broken it down for you. That's why I, I had to do this whole drawing board. Got right you. Here. But the academy it's now incorporates all of Yo, this niggas, shit. get the game right now. Thank Here's the academy. The right, Street Fest is, is like becoming more and more mainstream, of mm-hmm. course. Yeah, mm-hmm. definitely. I'm getting bigger acts. Yeah. It should be you go there to sing along to songs, you know. Yo, brands, fuck with my niggas, Street Fest. Yeah, Come on now. Mainstream. I'm mainstream with no brands. We're mainstream, bro. <laughs> I'm mainstream on my pocket. And also bro. fuck with us, my yeah. DM podcast. You know what I mean? Mainstream on my pocket. But with the. So now, how, I was how like, do, it's becoming more and more mainstream. Like Benji, Let me explain. My, Hold my, on. My question was, my dear. How do the, the kid who's out there trying to see... He's see going to the academy first, you know? yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the homie wants to get there. No, 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 no. <laughs> see, when I talk, I don't, I'm not just talking about this shit. I'm going to like make it make sense in a second. Because exactly. as I was saying, Street Fest is becoming more and more mainstream. mainstream. I can't just put whoever on Street Fest, you mm. know what I mean? So I started Underground. And Underground is where I can go to find the talent yeah. and see. Because at Underground, I have an open mic which means you can come in and perform. Yes, and then I also have headliners and bigger acts. And it's gonna, it's happening currently every month, but now it's gonna be twice a month, then next year it's gonna be every week. Dope. And so I'm gonna have on, an event on, called Underground, Underground every week. Is and it? every week, I'm yeah. gonna have people performing as headliners. But before that, it's gonna be open mic for four hours. Four you can hours come in for the kids. And, perform. and if you win, you can perform. On Street Fest. Gotcha. But before I did that, I wanted to do it online so we did the freestyle competition I don't know if you saw that thing I just did yeah, yeah. so we do freestyle French competitions French if you go onto the internet right now and type in hashtag uh, street fest freestyle competition right. and check all those freestyles they all submitted and someone won and he performed at the last street fest he killed it and he's also you. booked for underground all the top 10s also booked for underground and underground is where I go to see who's going hard and if I say yo this guy's hard for example at the first underground trusted SLK and Horrid the Messiah killed it they came to the next Street. Is it like all J- then music the next play underground. There underground? One more time. Is it like all the general music play there? Like which or all strictly hip hop? Like is it all type of music? It's no, it's all type of music. Anything, you know, yeah. anything. It's yeah. a, it's, you know, but it's mostly hip hop. Hip hop, of course, because we're trying to, we're trying to, we're trying to earth the talent. And also, it's underground. Underground is more hip hop than street. Than street fest, yeah. Because underground is more underground than underground, street fest. Yeah. Because yeah. street fest is more mainstream than underground. Yeah. So street fest, and that's me bridging the two, right? So in this, industry, I'm trying to be the guy in the industry that can take kids from the underground and bring them into the mainstream. Got gotcha. you, know, and for it to make sense, because no OGs are doing that anyways for us. So you gotcha. need to have producers do it. That's how much power producers have, yeah. is that we can actually, there's producers that work at Sony or whatever, that work for whoever, they could actually help out their homies. You know what I mean? And they could do a lot. But either way, OGs should be doing that. And OGs aren't even doing that for niggas like me mm. and a lot of other bros. So it's mostly a thing of, with underground, underground as well, see the talent and street fest is where i'm gonna put like the most times i can find and the thing is this is my way of staying connected to the underground and to stay connected to the mainstream i don't want people to say benji changed now he's mainstream mm. doesn't fuck with the kids anymore you know okay. underground is really for the kids for you the know kids. what i mean and if you kill it there like i was saying at the first underground trusted SLK and hurry the messiah killed it they were literally on the next street fest lineup both of them no competitions involved just for me going yo they killed it you know what i mean mm. then the next underground was tora montana and i think scummy or they were on the next, you know, gotcha. street fest. Gotcha. So shout you got to kill it that side. And then shout you out. To, shout so that's the academy. You need to make it through the, the, the training program. Yeah. You need to go. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm, I'm also trolling when I say that. It's not actually that, bro. It's about vibes at the end of the day. I'm just yeah. trying to host as many things as I can. Yeah. Help out as many people as I can. So usually when people that I don't know are like, I want to perform at street fest. I'm like, come to underground. Come perform at underground. Right. I'm there too. And if I fuck with it, of course you can perform at street fest. That's how I need it. Because anyone that I fuck with can go, yo, Ben. Can I perform at the next G-Fest? Hell yeah, bro. You're my dog. Sure, Marcus. Sure, Yuang. Sure, Salo. Sure, whoever. Sure. They're my homies. Of course you can. Sure. So if I know that you're clean and we can be homies, then it's like no biggie. Of course gotcha. you can perform. You gotcha. I mean? Let's talk about, um, I think, you know, and then I'll pass it to Brother Maverick. Um, if there's an OG, bro, mm. that you wish can mentor you, who would it be? I can hold you like you really want to be mentored by. Who, who would that be? Mm. Well, my OG right now is 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 the is probably like the closest equivalent. Who 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 who, who who's that? Mm. I don't even want to get into it though because like yeah, 
But let's 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 also big Give him up because I mean you know he's yeah. showing you love like it was just yo shout out you mean you you're showing our boy love type of thing yeah shout and out. I fuck with him for right. for like showing you love right then yeah now let me shout him out I was wondering if I if it's something I need to keep on the raps because mm. also it's him helping me out you know you don't want to like overstep yeah. whatever overstep yeah. the boundaries but let's pay his dues dog yeah but shout out Shakes Makado which is Shakes Makado brother Aye. and if I could have any mentor to be Ricky you know what I mean to be honest and ironically I'm writing an an essay. You know, right now, uh, a thesis or like a crit research task okay. on hip hop, on hip hop's evolution, on like Ricky Rick and the way that he reformed hip hop away from the internet. I mean, away from TV and the radio and mainstream stuff, and mm. kind of put the focus onto the kids on the internet that Dope. are doing their own thing. Dope. Mm. And like, I wrote like thousands of words and that shit. So I approached him about it and told him to check it out, you know, and mm. help me out. And I did an interview with him. And then through that whole process, we became like we brothers. became like really dope, like brothers. my brothers. Yeah. And now, right now, he's like my brother. I've only known him for like a month now or Aye. so. But I actually met him at Underground. He came to me. He's like, "Yo, I'm Shakes Makado, yeah. Ricky and Temba's older brother. Bro, we fuck with what you're doing. Got you. you know, when you talk." Then I actually bumped into him a couple weeks later. Then I told him we chopped for hours. And mm-hmm. I told him about. Uh, the thesis that you wanted, yeah. yeah. And then he was like, "I'm down." Then the next day, I said, "Yo, let's meet up for the thesis." Woo. And then we chopped it up for hours. Then I interviewed him. I have it on my phone. It's like an hour-long interview. Yeah. I was just chopping up life, and we became like brothers through the process. And through that process, I'm also telling him afterwards. We chop it up more. I'm telling him about other things, and obviously, like he's seen street fairs, he's gotcha. seen underground. Got gotcha. you. He see the work. Me, he actually helped me out making the merch, you know, right. for the pretty ugly the thing. Pretty ugly you know, thing. That I did out. There. Yeah. So like, and he, he, because the whole team, my street fair team, is like, it's not possible. We don't have time because we got the designs. We can't do it. Whatever. <clears throat> like, boy. Let me help you out. Let me show you the full process. And he showed me the process that no one else would show me. Like Shout the out. full process. We went Shout and out. got the hoodie. Shout out. We went and did the things. You know what I mean? And he yeah. showed me how if I need to ever do it myself yeah. fully, here's yeah. how we can do it. And Confess has some mad dope merch, dog. Confess has some fucking mad dope merch. I'm so I'm trust sure my merch is coming. Like, it's going to be hot. It's going to be hot. Hey, dog. Like, what's yeah. Confess <laughs> jackets? <laughs> What the oh no, that's just that's just hot. Oh, so big, biggest biggest shout out to Shakes Mikado. Yeah, this is my first out. time like giving shout shouting out. him out on yeah. like the air, you know yeah. what I mean? But he's yeah. treating me like fat, yeah. you know, it's yeah. crazy. And Brother fat, Shakes and Ricky's family is treating me like Brother fat. Brother Shakes, we appreciate you. Shout out, man. Keep doing what OG. you're doing. God that's bless you, bro. Right do, now, do you feel like you're closer knowledge. now to Ricky Rick that you know and have a relationship with Shakes? It's it's the biggest trip ever because it feels like it's it's a lot of knowledge and I can hear how Ricky's dense this knowledge is. Mm. You know what it's I mean? potent. It's not like, yeah it's, yeah, it's real life. It's not like, ah, boy, I'll switch out and merch. Yeah. Boy, <laughs> it never happens. It's like, oh, you're on merch? And then let me show you how you can do it. So that you can, maybe if you need to show someone else, then you get that done. You gotcha. know what I mean? So it's about, and not just that, bro. When I chop it up with him, we can chop. There's not many people that I can really chop, it chop. Up with. And I mention a name and they know exactly who I'm talking about. Gotcha. And you know what I mean? Gotcha. Ah, that bro. And also this and that. And also they'll give me gems, bro. And like from experience, because you must understand he's, he's Ricky's older brother. Mm. So he's four years older than Ricky. And so he has that perspective. As an as a, as a, as a older brother, he didn't saw his little brother come up in the game. And, and Ricky used to cry to him, like, yeah. I'm frustrated. No, so it's a different so, perspective. Well, they were in the same boat, more or less, in a way. Because if you think about it, when you're kids, like, you're like brother, you're like twins for like the whole. Yeah. For like, as your kids, then one grows up and goes mm. to the clouds, and another mm. one has to stay at home. Mm. But like, they were like. It's you like what your bigger brother so likes. Both, yeah. 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 So Shakes is a rapper, so Rico wants to be a rapper, touch it. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Or like whatever, int- you know what I mean? It's those types of influences on each other. You Got know you. what I mean? Which Got is you. dope. You know what I mean? To hear from his perspective is like, it's amazing. Like I'm bro. learning. And that's when I learned that school is for you. You know, it's not for the paper. Now I'm going to pass the paper, obviously, and I'll hand it in and pass. But what I'm getting out of it isn't an A or whatever, even if it is. It's, it's cool. for you. But this is like, I've got yeah. an OG out of it gotcha. at this point. Gotcha. Because I wouldn't have had that conversation with him. And I told him, dog, it's crazy that I met you at this point. Like, you know, like, I needed like this. Well, firstly, I needed an OG. Then he was like, yo, dog, I needed this shit too, bro. Nah. You know what I mean? Nah. And I was like, I need this conversation. It's crazy that I meet you in this time that I actually had to do an interview for this essay, yeah, for this essay. thesis. I had to do it. And he's like... Bro, I needed to get these things off my chest too. So gotcha. we got to actually chop it up properly, yeah. like, and in a genuine manner. Gotcha. And some of the questions that I even asked, he was like, his response is like, got to do with even me. He's like, young niggas like you, like yourself, coming up, you know, that's the shit. Is like helping other kids and bringing people together, hosting events, gotcha. trying things out, pushing <laughs> culture. 
Gotcha. You know what I mean? Gotcha. A lot of those chops and more so than anything, bro, he's just showing that he's real beyond anything, you know? He's met my gotcha. fam, I've met his kids, like it's, he's showing me that he's real and he's gonna be around and I believe that he will, you know? And yeah, dog, he's given me info that other people will try to latch onto for their whole lives. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Sure. You know? But he's like, yo, I'm giving you this info and you decide what to do, what with, to do with it. But yeah, he can see that I'm here to operate, I'm here to convert, bro. I'm here to like actually do the things. You know, if he gives me a concept, even like I mentioned, I might do a tour for one of these OGs. It's the rent. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? He's giving me like these types of plugs. He's trying to make sure I'm going to get paid. He's trying to make sure, you know, like he ha- it hasn't all started yet, but it's right now it's all the chops and he helped me with the merch. So I'd see it's real. And it's like, now we like, we can start moving. So I know he's got my bag, bro. And I got his bag for life. Yeah. So it's like a new family member. Dope. So it's pretty Shut crazy up. through the Shut process. Up. And it's a trip, bro. Like, the whole thing is a trip. Dope. Dope. You know, brother, but Benjamin, it's dope. It's too love. much love, man. Too Shout much out. love. Shout yeah, I'm glad Shout we out. ended it there. Yeah, Shout out, Shakes, bro. bro. Shout out, 